Hi, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Budroll team. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the gallery slider feature inside Cheetah. So here I am inside my home page of my photography website. On this page, we're going to insert a slider so that it rotates through a set of preset images that I would like my visitors to see. So first, let's go to a blank panel that I added. I also went in and adjusted the background to match the rest of the website. So here's my blank panel. Now what we're going to do is add the gallery slider. So let's go to add, select elements, and then go down to galleries. Now there's going to be three different options. We're going to just start off with this one here. Now what you can do is with the one image slider, it tends to be rather big. So you might have to adjust your panel size. Now you can also take the blue dot here on the lower right of your image slider and make the adjustment. And you can also take this little blue and white dot here and make an adjustment. Now for this example, we're going to go ahead and just leave it just like this. Now again, I'm going to right click on this slider just to make sure that it is selected. And once it is properly selected, your image slider will come up all of your properties. So here you can adjust the autoplay time. You can also elect to remove the autoplay and just simply navigate through each slide using these arrows here. You can also go through and make the adjustments of the arrows. Now what I'm going to choose to do is go back up to the top here, select autoplay, and also allow my visitors to use the navigational arrows. You can also make other adjustments like opacity. You can go here and adjust it, change the size, the minimum size, the max width, and also the border. So right now I don't have a border. I can go in and select one or add one. And also here, I can elect to change the actual shape of the image slider. So for this example, let me go in and adjust to 20. And you can see the curve on my slider. You can also go in here and add a shadow animation, tag configuration. Now let's go in and add some images. So come up to the slider properties here right above the slider and select the plus sign. Here you can go in and adjust your images. So we have three like images. So let's go ahead and remove these two. Now we're ready to add an image. Now we're going to add a couple images, but I want to call your attention to something. If you're going to show portrait style images, then you might want to go back and make your slider portrait style so everything shows up correctly. Now for this example, we have it set to more of a landscape. So I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to go back and add another landscape photo like this one here. And let's see this one here. But I'm also going to add a portrait style photo just like this one here. Okay, now I can select save and let's go up to the very top, select save and take a look at it live on my website. Okay, so now if I scroll midway, you're going to see the slider changing. Now these are all again landscape type photos that I selected with one portrait photo. Now this portrait photo that shows up, as you can see, doesn't show up correctly. And that is why you want to try to keep all your portrait style photos aligned with a portrait styled gallery slider. All right. In this video, we walk through on how to add a gallery slider to your web page, adjust the necessary settings and add your own images to the gallery slider. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frankie Menez with the Build Raw team.